Students, now we are going to study climate change. Climate change is a change in the climatic patterns of a region or on a global scale. Our whole world is getting affected by it, whether they are oceans, weather, food or health. The increasing level of carbon dioxide and decreasing level of oxygen in the air is causing this problem and this is basically due to industrial revolution. To understand why the climate is changing on a large scale, we have to understand a phenomena that is the greenhouse effect. Trapping of heat inside the atmosphere is called the greenhouse effect. Different gases are present around our earth which are called the greenhouse gases and they act just like a blanket. They have two roles. First, they keep the earth warm and second, trap the right amount of heat that the earth gets from the sun. Some of the greenhouse gases are ozone, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrogen oxide, carbon monoxide, etc. If these gases are unable to maintain their balance, it will result in the climate change of the earth. For example, if carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide and methane are in great quantity, it will cause global warming. But on the other hand, if they are in less quantity, it will make our earth too chilly that it would be very difficult for us to survive. Students, now we will see that how the greenhouse gases are affecting us. Change in the amount of greenhouse gases can lead to a warming or cooling of the climate system. From the last few years, the imbalance of these gases is affecting our climate on great scale. For example, the carbon dioxide is increasing whereas the ozone is decreasing. Global warming is one of the results caused by the imbalance in greenhouse gases. The two main factors of global warming are burning of fossil fuels and deforestation. Now let us discuss that how burning of fossil fuels is playing its role in climate change. But before that, we need to know that what are fossil fuels? A fuel that is formed inside the earth from the remains of plants and animals is called fossil fuel. For example, coal, oil and natural gas. Fossil fuels are used basically in three ways. As petrol in transports, in factories and mills, and as in vehicles due to the rapid industrial development. Deforestation is one of the main reasons of climate change. We already know that forests are known as lungs of the earth. They are the largest oxygen providers to the earth. They take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. Our air gets purified because of their presence. The term deforestation is defined as the action of cutting down the trees on large scale. Deforestation is one of the reasons of climate change and global warming is prevailing due to deforestation. There are many reasons why deforestation is done on large scale. Reasons of deforestation are to build houses and buildings for agriculture purposes, to burn fire from wood, and for making furniture. There were many people who contributed to spread awareness about climate change and one of them is Greta Thunberg. She is an environmental activist. She is 17 years old. She is a Swedish girl and she started a movement on climate change and won many international awards. One of her famous quote is, I don't want your hope. I don't want you to be hopeful. I want you to panic and act as if the house was on fire. Similarly, Pakistan is also making its effort 
to decrease the effects of climate change. We have started two projects. First is Billion Tree Tsunami and the second is Clean and Green Pakistan. It is very important for us to feel our responsibility that how, as an individual, we can play our part to stop the effects of climate change. Few ways in which we can reduce the effects of climate change are use less electricity, save water, turn off the power appliances when not in use, plant more trees, walk more and drive less, dry clothes under the sun, recycle, wash clothes with warm water. I hope we all will try to act upon the ways and make our world a better place.